Weekend sunrise. Well, we are in for a big day of sport and joining me now to discuss, Seven News sport reporter Andrew McCormack and Seven Sports commentator Alistair Nicholson. Morning to you, gents. Andrew, to you first. OK, so we know India are undefeated. Can the Aussies get the job done? Well, look, in a word, they can, Matty, but it would be a monumental upset. This is Ahmedabad, the stadium uh, in India. 130,000 screaming Indian fans are going to be watching on now. India, they've got the form, they've got superstars with the bat and the ball, and they've got conditions to suit. This is uh, Rohit Sharma, the Indian captain, and Pat Cummins before that, looking at the pitch. There's uh, three different types of soil for the wicket, so they can choose whatever pitch they want. They're going to choose a pitch that spins to suit the home team. Tonight, a much a celebration for India as a country in Indian cricket uh, than anything else. So it would be a monumental upset for Australia. They'll need to bat big if they bat first or take wickets with the new ball. Someone in the top three is going to have to go very, very big. They can do it, but this would be a monumental upset and probably Australia's greatest World Cup victory, arguably, if they can get the job done. Yeah, you're setting it up nicely. Wouldn't it be delightful? There's 130-odd thousand home fans there that are going to be uh, really trying to sway things. How do you, what's the key, do you think, to trying to nullify India? Well, look, Alistair will be able to answer this as well, but take wickets with a new ball. I think they're going to have... They did it when they uh, played India earlier in the tournament. They had them three down. Should have had them four down when Mitch Marsh dropped Virat Kohli and then he went on to win the game for India. So, look, it can be done, but they're going to have to take wickets with a new ball and someone in the top three is probably going to have to get 150-plus, really, for Australia to win. Alistair, take out the crystal ball for us. How does this play out? Uh, I mean, India has been so dominant. You have to go back to 2007 when Australia won the World Cup and we're on that remarkable run of wins under Ricky Ponting to see a, a team that has been so dominant in this form of the game. There are no chinks in the armour at all, really. And I agree with, with Mac and Matty. Um, the power play is going to be so important for Australia with bat and with ball. They can't be dictated to by India, especially in that, that cauldron at Ahmedabad with that huge crowd there. Australia's got to be really bold, I think, and take wickets in the power play. And also we're going to need a start from Warner and Head with the bat. How significant, significant would a sixth world title be? As you say, they've got to get over an undefeated India. It'll be huge. Um, Australia have made the final now eight times. It's an extraordinary achievement for, for our country. And when you factor in what Australia has done in recent times as well, winning the T20 World Cup, winning the World Championship of Test Match Cricket, retaining the Ashes in England, this would just cap off a remarkable 18 months or so for the Australian cricket team. And, and they're taking down a giant if they win. If you look at the, the contrasting way they've got to the final, India has been absolutely dominant. When they've batted first, they've won by an average 175 runs. When they've chased, they've chased the runs down in an average with 10 overs to spare. So this has been a complete performance, but that little bit still to be done for India, and they are expected to win. Attached to that will be some pressure. Giant killers would be a lovely headline, wouldn't it? Now to the AFLW, the Adelaide Crows have booked their place.